Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here again, bringing you another awesome math video. Uh, this video I'm going to talk a little bit about area of a sector. So a sector is a piece of a circle, almost like a pie piece. So if you took a, basically you have two radiuses here, and then in between them you have this theta. This theta is what's called the central angle. So the central angle um, is very really important for these questions. We need to know the central angle. So if you're not given the central angle, we need a way to find it. So you might need to know some central angle properties and things like that about um, you know the connection between a central angle and other types of angles that are in a circle and things like that. So there are two basic formulas for uh, central angle. So if you look down here, I've got them written here and typed up already. Um, so this, they're, they're, these are two, of the, they find the exact same thing, but you need to know them because if you have different angles in different units, I'll say. So this one is for degrees, and this one is for radians. Now, of course, if you know how to convert from degrees to radians, then you only need to know one formula. So I like to know both. And depending on the question, use whatever one is most appropriate. So, like I said before, if you don't know how to convert back and forth, then you got her made. But, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I probably use this one formula more. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's look at a question and uh, see how it goes. So let's see. We've got a big circle here. And I've got a central angle of 120 and a radius of 10. I'm just going to give this a unit. I'm going to call it centimeters. So it's important to recognize that an area is going to be in whatever unit we have for our radius squared. So the, the actual unit of this guy, the area of it, will be centimeters squared. So this is in degrees, so I'm going to use this formula. So area is equal to, let's see, area is equal to theta over 360 degrees pi r squared, just like that. So I'm going to take out my calculator, pretend like I know what I'm doing, and then I'm going to go 120 divided by 360 pi r squared. So I got all my stuff written in there. I'm going to give that a little degree symbol. So I'm going to go 120 divided by 360, and that's one third. So I'm going to multiply that by, and this is how I like to use a calculator, guys. I like to do things step by step. But I don't like to write a lot down, so that's why I kind of do this step by step with my calculator. So I'm going to use the pi button times pi, and it gives me back one third pi. And then I'm going to times it by 10 squared, and I get an answer of 100 pi over 3. So this is what you would call the exact area. So I'll give that centimeters squared. So this is the exact area. So if you had a teacher who said, give me the exact area of the sector, you'd have to leave the pi there. Now the beauty of this calculator is it leaves the pi in for you. So uh, if you don't have that, then all you need to do is just don't compute the pi. Just leave it alone. Do the 120 over 360 times the 10. You know, get that fraction, reduce it down or whatever, and then get left with the pi. Now, if your teacher wanted you to have a uh, decimal, this calculator has a beautiful button, the S to D button, and it changes it to uh, 104.72. So I'll cut out 104.7 centimeters squared. So there's the area of the sector. All right, let's try a couple more. So sometimes you get questions where there are no diagram. So a question like this. Uh, a sector in a circle with a diameter of 20 has a central angle of 60. So let's just draw a little, little sketch. So if the diameter is 20, that basically means that my radius is equal to 10. So that's important to pick out. So my central angle is 60. So the central angle is always from the center. It's our central center kind of thing. So you got 60 and, 10, 60 and then 10. Doesn't give me a unit again. I did a crappy job of tightening this thing out. So 10 centimeters, I'll say. So just got to go ahead and use my formula. So I'll do 60 divided by 360 pi times 10 squared. I'll break out my calculator again. 
So 60 divided by 360 times pi times 10 squared. So I get this time I get 50 over 3, which kind of makes sense because I get half the angle. And the 50 pi over um, 50 over 3 pi or 50 pi over 3, and that's centimeter squared. And I'll work out the 52.4 centimeter squared is the approximate uh, measurement. All right, I got one more here. Actually, I got two more. I lied. So if I look at this guy, I'm given the area in this scenario. It says the area of a sector is 15 units squared. If the circle has a radius of 3, what is the measure of the central angle? So I'll write my formula out. So this time we're solving for theta. And it doesn't tell me in radians or degrees, so I'm just going to do it in degrees. So my area is 15. And I have a radius of 3. So there's a couple different things I can do here with this one. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to kind of work out this pi times 3 squared. So that's actually just going to be 9 pi. So I'll do it in my calculator just to show you. So I got pi, where for I write that pi? Pi times 3 squared. So 9 pi gives me, now I'll change it to a decimal, 28.3. And then I'm going to divide that by this 360 that happens to be here. So I'll just rewrite that step. I'll take it step by step. So I'm left with 28.3 theta over 360. So since these were multiplied together, I just put the theta after. doesn't matter the order, right? Like I just did this and then moved it out here. And then I'm going to divide it by 360. And I'll get that as a decimal. Oops. Times by 360 again. So I get that as a decimal. So it's not a very good number. I get 15 is equal to 0 decimal 0. 7, 8, 5, theta. So you can see why your teacher might want to leave this in exact answers because you get a lot of these weird decimals. Now we're just going to divide both sides by that number. Just like that. So these cancel out. And then I go 15 divided by that. So I'll just go 15 divided by answer in my calculator. And it gives me back a theta value. When I do 15 divided by 0 decimal 0, 7, 8, 5, or about that. I get back 190, um, actually I'll just round that to 191, it's the easiest thing, well that's technically the correct way to do it. So uh, 191 degrees. So I'm just going to check that to make sure that I got it right. So I'm going to put my number back and see if I get that area of 15. So 191 divided by 360 times pi times 3 squared. And then I'll change it to a decimal, and I get just pretty close to 15 there. So you can see that that's my, my 15. All right, so let's try one more or two more of these and see how it works out now. So, all right. So here we go. It says the area, a sector in a circle with a diameter of 30 has a central angle of pi over 4. Find the area of the sector. So I have a central angle this time in radians. So what I have to do is I have to think about this formula. Area is equal to theta over 2 r squared. So I can go ahead now and shove that pi over 4. Now the only thing is I have a diameter, so I need to divide that by 2. So my radius is 15. So then I'll take my pi over 4, divide it by 2, can't forget about that divide by 2, and then 15 squared. So again, you don't really have to think too much about this, your calculator can handle it, but this pi over 4 divided by 2 is the same as pi over 4 times 1 over 2. So dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by half. So really, I just kind of thought of it as 2 over 1, and then I just flipped it over and then multiplied. So I end up with pi over 8. So I get pi over 8 times 15 squared. So then I can just work that out. So pi, pi divided by 8 
times 15 squared and then so I get 225 pi over 8 or I can change that to a decimal and get 88.4 doesn't give me a unit I'll call it centimeter squared there it is. So that's another example. This one in radians. So it's not, you know, it doesn't make any difference. It's a different formula. And remember, if you like to deal with degrees, you can always change from from rads to degrees just by multiplying by 180 over pi. So if you wanted to do that, you could take your pi over four, multiply it by 180 over pi, and what ends up happening is these pi's can cancel. So then I get 180 divided by four. So you get 45 degrees. So if you do that, I'll just go ahead and plug the numbers in my calculator. I'm just curious now to see if I get the same answer. So 45 divided by 360, just what we were doing, times 15, so pi, times pi, sorry. Oh, yeah. I got to do it, guys. 45 divided by 360 times pi times 15 squared, and we get the exact same answer. So no different. All right, so last question. So let's look at this guy. So this one's uh, you know, a little bit of a tougher question. So we're looking for the shaded region out here. So notice that we're given the central angle on the other side of that. So a lot of times you get these, uh, you know, these pesky little teachers who try to mess you up and get you to use a different formula. So really we have two options with this one. We can find the area of the entire circle then we can find the area of this shaded area and just subtract them. Or we can do a little manipulation with uh, the angle. So if this, is the, if this is 80 degrees here, we know there are 360 degrees in a circle. So if I go 360, subtract 80, not, yeah, subtract 80, I would get 280. So I'd actually get that to work out, right? So um, that would give me my angle for right here so 280 degrees so that that's probably the easiest way of doing it that I can take my formula out theta 360 pi r squared and then I get 280 divided by 360 pi 10 squared oh sorry about that and then I could uh, just go ahead plug her in again 280 divided by 360 times pi times 10 squared and I get 700 over 9 pi and then I can just go 244.3 centimeters squared and there it is guys so hopefully that takes you through finding the area of a sector it's uh, you know, one of those things that you need to know if you're doing a circle geometry unit. So hopefully this helps, and I'll see you guys in class. Thanks for watching.